What's up, everyone? My name's Dan, and this is my Living Word testimonial. I've been an avid truth seeker for about 12 or 13 years now, and what you're looking at on the screen here is essentially the apex of my discoveries. Um, I found a channel about six years ago. Uh, the channel is called Mighty Messer, which is the boxing name of Mark. And Mark has a very interesting story. Um, really, you should go to his channel to learn it. Um, his channel used to be Mighty Messer. It is now the Keys to Wisdom. Um, he's put out a lot of videos over the years. I've seen most of them. Um, and yeah, he's a source of God. Uh, he, he can prove God. Uh, and what he's taught me, I can prove God now, too. And I'm going to show you what's possible with uh, my personal information. Um, I had one big decode about two weeks ago. 304 letters long describing me and the numbers that come out link to my exact birth date. So um, there's a lot of stuff to get into. It's This video is hard to make for me because I, I want to say so many things, but I also want to keep it short. Um, so what you're seeing right here anyway is an app called Clues that someone else that showed up to Mighty Master's channel uh, developed an application that computes the numbers. Now, these 11 numbers you see here, uh, I mean, there's a video that explains how to get these numbers. Uh, Mark has made one on his new Keys to Wisdom channel, so I'll just link that video in the description, and you can go to that and then learn how to get the numbers. But this app you're seeing does the work for you, so you just type in whatever you want to type, and it'll compute it instantly. So uh, one thing we do is look for what matches, right? This is if you're sim if you're familiar with uh, Gematria, then which we also have the Gematria values on this calculator. You can just click this down here and does Hebrew, English, simple, GT7, Trinity, Pythagorean, Chaldean, Hebrew 2, and Greek. It's all garbage, honestly, and that's going to offend a lot of the Gematria people. I'll probably send this link to Gematria people. I'm sorry to say that none of these methods really show you anything. Um... You can see some things with it a little bit, but it's it's nothing in comparison to the real stuff, which this is the real stuff. This actually shows things. I've compared. I've looked at the Gematria types over the years, and then I've worked with this, and this is way more complex. I mean, right, right off the bat, you have 11 numbers that you want to match, rather than Gematria is always just one number, one number, one number, one number. If you use simple gematria, which a lot of people use, if you do Jesus and Lucifer, they both come out to 74. Oops. 74. Lucifer, 74. Garbage. Doesn't teach you anything. This way, Lucifer, the main number is 968. But these numbers up here and around here, they're going to be different. Same main frequency, so it's like they're similar, but then the other numbers are different, which is telling you a different story, right? Stuff like this it gets way more complex. You have 11 numbers to match rather than just one. So that changes up the game significantly right there alone. So, before I had up there, the source of God. 
who is the source of God. Mighty Messer. What is he doing? Showing people code. Okay. All the numbers match up. Show people code. Mighty Messer. So, really, I'm, I'm not the guy. I'm the guy who's learning from him. And I'm just making this video to throw out a testimonial. Um, I've been working with what he shows for six years now, and I can tell you, without a doubt, it's real. And I look at things in a from a very logical perspective. I'm a, I'm a skeptic on a lot of things, and uh, what he shows, you can't debunk it. You could try. You should try. Go ahead. I mean, that's how you're going to verify it. Um, but I've worked with it long enough to know that it's real. And I'm going to show some evidence in this video about that pertaining to my personal information. So this is how it started. Mark came up with this one. I gave him my information and he decoded the two time formats, Hebrew and Gregorian, and out came the Julian right here, 7 -1489. So after that, I decided to try and add the Julian in too, see what happened. And Catch up and 20889 came out, which 20889 is an, another expression of my birthday. Because if you looked at the 208th day of 1989, that's actually July 27th. And here's another way of connecting it to me the one from 1988, which I am the one from 1988. 1988 is my conception year. So, so this was amazing getting both of these decodes you know it's a lot of letters it's a lot of description and it's coming out you know connecting it to me to my numbers so I thought I could take out my birth certificate and continue and add more information so at first I got uh, I, I had to mess around with it after I got it but this is was the final decode. So I got Daniel John McKenna calculates three dates of birth, and then I got all three formats, the Gregorian, Julian, and Hebrew. Then I added the day, which was Thursday. Then I added the time, which was 9.41 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Then I added the location in New Brunswick, Middlesex County, New Jersey, United States of America. So it's got the time, the location, the three formats of the day. And right here is my Gregorian. 72789 is in there. So that was huge. This is 304 letters right here. All describing me, marking it out perfectly to my Gregorian birthday. And after that, I was looking into trying to figure out my conception date. Um, I actually had a good feeling. It, well, I had other confirmations. I should say not a feeling. I had confirmations that it was October 11th, 1988. And when I got those confirmations, I did this afterwards. And... This was just another confirmation, but I typed in, may I see conception? Just ask the question. And let's let it catch up. Right. 
right here we have the one from 1989 is from 10 11 88 all the numbers in there so I'll show you other confirmations that I got before this that pointed to 10 11 88 so here I tried to find my conception day and I had a general idea of when that would be because my mother told me that I was born about two weeks after nine months so that would be around mid-October so I started and I typed this out and I started playing around with the numbers here I went through you know tried out different ones around the area wasn't getting it and I got to 11 and out popped 1988. Now I don't know what the extra eight is. That could be an expression of October because oct is eight. I'm not exactly sure, but 1988 was a good lead for me to start investigating this number further as my possible conception date. And the results after this seem pretty, pretty good. So, so after that, I typed in. This one right here, Daniel John McKenna's three conception dates are October 11, 1988, which is Gregorian, September 28, 1988, which is Julian, and one of Cheshvan, 5749, and that's the Hebrew, and out pops the Hebrew expression right here, the one from 5749. You could also look at this one here as the one from 1011. So, seems like more good confirmation. And I did another one. Okay, Daniel John McKenna asked for conception three dates of conception, and then I put in the Gregorian, the Hebrew, and the Julian, and out came the one from 1988. And also, again, is here is uh, my birthday. One way to express it, the 208th day of 89. So then after that, I decided to throw my birth and conception together in one giant one got confirmation from there too so you got the big one I showed earlier for my birth then I asked may I see conception Right, I said, may I see conception? And there it was, the 10, 11, 88 in there, the one from 1989. And then I threw in the confirmation, may I can see conception? And then confirmation, and then I threw it in the three different formats. And out came the two from 5749. So it's saying the two expressions, birth and conception, both 5749 in the Hebrew, the two from 5749. I also noted it's kind of close to the main frequency of my name, which is 1836. Right there. Daniel John McKenna. So thank you for watching, and I will leave links in the description to Keys to Wisdom channel. I'll leave a link for the Clues app, so you can download the Clues app and get to decoding yourself. And yeah, feel free to leave a comment, ask any questions, and I'll be happy to answer.